Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about giving the place value and value of a digit in numbers up to 100,000. What is a place value and value? Place value refers to the position that a digit occupies in the numeral. The value of each digit is 10 times greater than the value of the place to its right. Each digit of a number occupies a different position or place value. Its value depends on its place in the number. To fully understand our lesson on giving the place value and value of a number, let's study the place value chart. In this place value chart, notice that the digits are grouped into sets of three digits. Each group of three digits is called a period. The words units and thousands, among others, are used to name periods in our numeration system. It is easier for us to read a large numbers if it is grouped by periods. Now let's talk about a place value. Place value refers to the position that a digit occupies in the numeral or number. So, under units, we have ones, tens, and hundreds. For thousands family, we have thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. We have still other place values higher than hundred thousands, but we will study those place values when you will be in grade 5. So, let's identify the place value of each digit in our chart. The place value of 9 is 1's. The place value of 2 is 10's. The place value of 7 is 100's. The place value of 3 is 1000's. The place value of 8 is ten thousands. The place value of one is hundred thousands. Next, we're going to discuss about value. The value of a digit depends on its place value in the numeral. So, the value of nine, since it is in the one's place, is nine. The value of two in the tens place is twenty. The value of 7 is 700 because it is in the hundreds place. The value of 3 is 3,000. It is because 3 is in the thousands place. 3 times 1,000 is equal to 3,000. Or we can write 3 and we're going to make zeros, the digit, to the right of 3. We have 3 digits to the right of 3, so we can add 3 zeros to 3. The value of 8 is 80,000, and the value of 1 is 100,000. If we're going to read this number, it is read as 183,729. 183,729 is one number having six digits. Do you understand already about the place value and the value of a digit in a number? If yes, so let's have an exercise. Give the place value and the value of the underlined digit. The underlined digit for the first number is eight. We're going to give the place value and the value. So, what is your answer? For the place value, yes, you are right. 
it is hundreds and the value is very good 800 next number the underlined digit is one so the place value you are right it is hundred thousands and the value is very good one hundred thousand next number the underlined digit is four what is the place value of four all right it is ones what is the value of four very good the value of four is four next number the underlined digits is seven what is the place value very good the place value is thousands and what is the value of seven you are right the value of seven is seven thousand next number the underlined digit is nine what is the place value of nine yes you are right the place value of nine is ten thousands and the value of nine very good ninety thousand the last number the underlined digit is three what is the place value of three yes you are right the place value of three is tens and what is the value of three very good the value of three is 30. congratulations you know already how to give the place value and value of a digit in a number so now let's take a math challenge i am a three digit number i am larger than 399 and smaller than 500 both my tens and ones digits are odd and their sum is four my ones digit is larger than the tens what number am i so let's analyze the problem we're going to read sentence by sentence for the first sentence i am a three digit number so we're going to draw three lines i am larger than 399 and smaller than 500 what are the numbers larger than 399 but smaller than 500 yes you are right numbers starting from 400 until 499 this means that our hundred digit is four so we already know the hundreds digit the next sentence both my tens and ones digits are odd and their sum is four what are odd numbers odd numbers they are numbers which are not divisible by two so we have one three five seven and so on another clue their sum is four so with the numbers one three five and seven what are the numbers that we're going to add the sum is equal to four yes very good one and three okay we know already the tens and the ones digit another clue my ones digit is larger than the tens so this means that the ones digit is three and the tens digit is one therefore the answer is 413 i hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching